Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to this new amazing video tutorial. So in this small tutorial today, I will show you that how you can create an amazing post in your WordPress website. So you can see that this is the website and this is the blog page of, uh, of my website that I'm going to use uh, today for showing all of you that how you can create a post. By default, WordPress comes with one post. I think all of you know that, uh, which is uh, called Hello World. You can see that this post is here. Uh, if I click this post here and uh, you can see that the single uh, page of this post looks like uh, this we also have a comment box here and we have also a comment here which is uh, showing the author name the published date of this comment uh, the time of the uh, comment published okay you can also reply this comment so let's see that how we can create a post actually so I'm just simply head over to my WordPress dashboard and from here simply click on post okay after clicking on post you'll be able to see your post uh, available post that you have published in your WordPress website but we are going to add a new post that's why simply uh, I'm just clicking here add new or you can click add new from here okay so I'm just clicking on add new and after that you can see that uh, the Gutenberg uh, editor appears here so simply first of all you have to add a post title right here okay so simply enter the post title here so I'm just simply uh, typing here a dummy title the first WordPress uh, post title for learning okay we're uh, to, uh, just typing the post title here okay you can easily uh, type your uh, post title here post title for LER LERN I have LERNING okay let's make the spelling correct okay that's it and after that uh, after entering a title here you can add a text here uh, for your post so let's copy some dummy text from our secret website called learn ipsum go to google and search for learn ipsum and from here you'll get this website lipsum.com okay from lipsum.com you can copy some dummy text for creating a dummy post okay uh, so uh, sorry not dummy post for uh, dummy text so simply copy this and paste it here you can see that i'm just uh, pasting here uh, i'm pressing enter for creating a new text block okay and you can see that uh, when we're uh, writing some text here you're getting this options at the um, top of the block okay so if you want to uh, make this text bold or italic or if you want to add any specific link to any specific word then you can add that suppose I want to um, make this 1960 bold then simply select this okay and click on bold from here okay you can see that uh, right now it's bold and if you want to make this italic then select this and make this uh, italic okay and if you want to add any link in this specific text then simply select this and click on this link here and then enter your link here suppose I want to uh, uh, add a link for google.com simply type the link of google.com https close slash slash and then type google.com and simply click on submit okay and you can see that the links are already entered that's how easy it is and if you want to add any title suppose i want to add a title uh, at the bottom side of this block that uh, for entering a, a subtitle simply press enter for taking a new uh, blank block and from here uh, simply click here this plus icon here uh, add uh, for adding a new block and from here select this heading block okay and from here let's uh, choose the heading size you can ch uh, choose heading one uh, heading two heading three heading four heading five heading six there are six types of heading available here so I'm just simply typing here uh, our subtitle subtitle and let's uh, make this heading three okay this looks really nice and if you want to uh, change the color of this you know you can change the color of the subtitle from the right side of this uh, 
block styling options you can see that whenever we are selecting any block any specific block the styling options appear at the right side of that screen okay so you can see that if i click on this paragraph you can see that the uh, right side of this screen change and if I click on subtitle then the uh, right side of the screen changes Okay, so simply I'm selecting this and from color settings. Let's make it uh, orange and you can see that uh, it becomes orange Okay, if you want to change the uh, color of this text from here then simply select this and from here you will be able to see the uh, styling of, uh, Options at the right side. So simply I want to change the color settings also click on color setting and from here select red, uh, yellow okay and you can see that it looks really nice if you want to change the background color we can also do that simply select the background color uh, okay you can do a lot of things yeah okay so it looks nice and if you want to add a drop cap you can do that so if I click on this you can see that we can simply add uh, Add a drop, uh, drop cap, etc., etc. So let's see that how we can insert an image uh, into our post. Suppose I want to add an image under this subtitle. So simply, I uh, press Enter for taking a new blank block, and from here, click on uh, this add block again, and from here, uh, you can search a block called image. Simply, you can, you will get this block right here. Okay. So simply, uh, click on this, and from here, click on upload, and after clicking on upload, you will get an uh, options to upload images from your device so I'm just simply go inside my uh, folder and from here I uh, I'm going to upload uh, some images so let's see where we can get some images you can see that I have some images right here I'm just selecting this image uh, this guy is amazing and then click on open and you can see that the image uh, uploads in our website you can add a caption here you can also uh, resize the image okay uh, you can resize the image you can change the alignment of your uh, image you can uh, align it right at the right you can align it at the uh, center okay you can do a lots of different things you, you can also make it round by simply clicking here okay you can see that the image is good round okay you can also add an alternative text if the images uh, don't load properly uh, this is really SEO friendly. It's not for us. Okay, it's for all the SEO experts. So you can also change the thumbnail size, etc., etc. You can change the weight, height. Etc. You can do a lot of stuff. Okay, and if you want to uh, add multiple image, I mean, if you want to add a gallery in your post, then simply I'm just uh, entering uh, a new blank block, and from here search for gallery. So let's enter a gallery okay so let's add some images okay let's go and you can see that click on open and you'll be able to see that we have uh, beautifully entered a gallery inside our post you can see that we have all the styling options uh, that are available with our gallery okay you can change the styling of our gallery okay you can set the uh, amounts of image that you want to see per columns. You know, okay. I'm just simply uh, clicking on, simply click on preview, or you can click on publish. I'm clicking on publish for publishing this. Okay, and then click on publish. Now let's uh, view the post. Simply uh, go to your blog page. I'm just simply going to my blog page. Others uh, blog. Okay. You can also view that from here. You can see that after publishing, you will get the permalink, and uh, you you can simply click on view post, and this will take you uh, to the post page. But I'm just simply typing your blog. You can see that uh, this is my blog page, and uh, the post appears here. So I'm just simply clicking here. Okay, you can see that this is how our post looks like. This is how our gallery looks like. You can see that. Okay, so let's. I'm just simply closing this panel and let's go and see that how we can add categories and do uh, lots of other, th uh, other things with our uh, blog post okay so simply uh, click on documents from uh, the this right section here okay and from here scroll down more and from here you can see that we have a default categories called uncategorized I'm just simply 
uncheck this box okay and after that let's go and add a new category simple click on add new category for adding a new categories uh, you have to click here add new category and from here uh, uh, type your category name suppose means fashion okay fashion and then click on add new category okay you can see that the category entered successfully if you want to add multiple category here you can simply select multiple category from here okay and then let's add some uh, tax means t-shirt you can add uh, tax like this okay you know, then let's uh, add more tax mm, shirts means t shirt okay oh uh, etc etc can add multiple categories oh uh, sorry tax and let's add a featured image which will be actually our thumbnail image so simply click on set featured image okay and from here let's select this one and then click on set featured image and that's how, how easy it is to create a post so click on update and let's see how it looks reload the page okay okay you can see that this is the featured image if I uh, simply go to my blog page and reload the blog page okay you, you'll be able to see your uh, thumbnail image it looks like this and uh, in the blog page and if I click the single post uh, single page of this post you can see that this is how our post looks like you can do lots of different things okay so uh, you can see the category right here you can see the author name you can also leave a comment okay if you want to disallow the comment you know if you don't want to allow the user to comment in any specific post then you can also do that for any specific post so simply go to your post and after that from discussion uh, uncheck this two box allow comments uh, simply uncheck this and then click on update okay and from here simply reload this page okay so you can see that uh, the user will be no more uh, able to post a comment right here okay so that's how easy it is so simply let's uh, allow the comment for this post okay and then reload this so you can see that right now the user can easily uh, add comment to your post okay so I hope that this video was really helpful this is how easy it is to create a post in your WordPress website okay uh, so if you like this video then please give a thumbs up and if you face any problem of or if you have any questions then you can visit our forum I will give a link in the description below uh, of our uh, forum and you can also comment down below in the YouTube comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for more upcoming videos and please please share our videos and obviously I'm again telling don't forget to subscribe our channel okay so see you in the next video goodbye